Hello IT pros, welcome back to my IT workshop. Now, today we are going to upgrade uh, yet another motherboard. This time it's going to be uh, a Dell. As you can see, I'm remotely connected using Demware, meaning remote control. So this is a Dell computer. And we're going to upgrade the firmware that it has. You can see if, you, if I stretch it, it looks, it looks weird. So I'm going to keep it um, not full screen. Now, uh, I'm going to use this tool, this piece of software called CPU-Z, which give me, gives, gives me a lot of information about my motherboard, well, a lot of my computer. As you can see here, I, I have an i7, I have four cores, and then I can go to, I have different tabs that I can check for more information. For instance, I can go to cache, I can go to motherboard and here I can see that uh, the manufacturer is Dell Inc or Dell computers and we have the uh, the model of the motherboard in the second row and down we have the version of the of the BIOS which is A12. Now uh, you can see here this is the computer which on which I'm recording the uh, this video which is an MSI and yeah, I just wanted to show you the, 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 these are two different computers and it's not a virtual one. So again, the version of the current uh, BIOS is A12. So we're going to look for, an, for a new version if it is available. So we go to Dell.com, we go for support and then drivers and downloads. Then it's asking me for the Dell service stack, which is uh, which every Dell product has. So if we type this code, well, this code, <laughs> this command, WMIC BIOS get serial number, is going to give me the, um, the serial number of this device. Now, this only works in Dell. Well, I mean, the, the, the serial number that is going to give you is only recognizable by Dell. If you do this in a computer that you have built, in this case, the one I'm recording this, uh, this um, video on, you're going to receive a different message because nobody, no, no company like Dell, HP, Toshiba, Lenovo, or any other has built the computer. So it doesn't have like a serial number. So I'm going to copy this number or the serial and I'm going to paste it here. Uh, I'm going to paste and enter or just click on the arrow. Well, it's asking for the what images have bridges on. So I'm just going to click on them. I'm just going to select them, to verify. And now it's going to uh, take us to the model of the, of the computer, which is an Optiplex. Um, and I'm going to look for BIOS. And right away, it, it tells me the latest version. In this case, this one came out this year, 2018 in July. So a few months ago. And the model is, Dell Opti Optiplex 7010. So just download it. And I already have it. So it's in, in, my, in my desk, in my desk, uh, in my desktop right now. So as you can see here, that's the, uh, the new firmware. The interesting thing with Dell is that you download, you have to download it to Windows itself. So as far as I have seen, I never, I, I, I didn't find a way yet to uh, up, uh, to upgrade the, the BIOS from the motherboard itself. So I just click on it. So I have some uh, some messages like this utility will update the system BIOS and firmware. During the update procedure, your system will just restart. Before you continue, close all the documents that you might have open so you won't lose your, your work. So after that, uh, I'm going to close everything and then keep reading. Uh, you, it has to be connected all the time. And if there is an interruption of the BIOS firmware update procedure, will likely render your system unusable. So this is true for any other computer, any other motherboard, not only, not only Dell. So it tells me here, do you wish to execute the BIOS update pr procedure? A2 is installed, A29, A12 is installed, A29 is the update. So uh, I click yes, and as you can see, it's preparing to update. Now what is going to happen is uh, the computer is going to restart and we are going to continue uh, with another video. So here I, I am uh, filming with, uh, with, uh, with another camera. 
And as you can see, the Dell logo is on the top left for some reason, and the flash progress is going on. So the, I have speed the video up, so you don't have to wait all the time. This took like around two minutes, and the next is going, that was, well, not super long, but it was longer, around four, three and a half minutes. So you see all the process that is happening in the motherboard. So we are not in Windows anymore. It's updating. Uh, this is the process to, up, to upgrade the BIOS for this Dell computer. And most of the Dell I, I have worked with follow this same scheme. So BIOS update successful reboot, rebooting your system. So here we go. It's restarting the Dell logo. Uh, the screen is a little weird, so it's not the update. <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the upgrade. Now uh, Windows is starting and we are going to come back to the video to record the screen. Um, now, as you can see, we have the blue screen. Well, not the blue screen of death, but here we are. So we are back. I, am, I have access again since Windows is back, so I'm going to log into the, to this computer that is called IT Workshop. Well, the user is IT Workshop. Now I'm going to open, oh, I remember this. For some reason, the, the background has been lost, I mean the image, so I'm going to select it again. I don't like computers with no background. So I'm going to run the CPU ID or CPU Z application. And as you can see here, well, uh, it's the same setup. Um, if you see closely, closely, we have the version A29. So the upgrade has been successful. So now um, there was some error that pop up. I'm going to close it up. As you can see, it's not related to the BIOS app upgrade. It's related to OneDrive, which I, I never use in this computer. So um, that, that's nothing to be worried about. So, well, that would be for the video, guys. i like to thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment question below. If you like this video, please leave a like. And I please ask you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.